didn't see my last video, watch it before you watch this one. Uh, this one is called Breaking the Box of Normal Part 2. I talked about um, in order to look forward to the new normal, we have to break the box in our minds of what we think is normal and let God out of our box. But what I didn't say is, um, I said I had a dream and the people and the person in the dream, the people in the dream tried to move the box. And I said, um, they couldn't move the box. The Lord said, the reason why they couldn't move the box is when you move something, it can be restored or reset um, for that thing. Like if you move a chair, you can, you can still put it back in the same place. If you move anything, you can, you can put it back in the same place. But if you break it, it's gone. And the Lord said, some of you have moved things around. You've, you, you've said that the chains are broken, but you have moved them. You, you didn't, they're not broken, they're just moved. So when they're moved, you can move them back. But what happens is you need to break that box of normal. Some of you have moved um, certain things in your mind, but they're in easy reach and they're not positive things. You've moved those books to the back of the drawer. You've moved uh, your credit card into a place where you can't see it, but it's still there. And when you get the urge, you can still you can still use it you can reactivate it and use it um and some of you are making the excuse well maybe i might need it for emergencies you don't need it and you know full well that you don't need it for emergencies what you're doing is just prolonging your your um addiction, your proclivity. What you're doing is leaving room for the devil to just do his, his work. And the Lord says, you can't move it because moving it means you can put it back when you're feeling weak. You have to break it because when you break it, it's gone. When you move it, it's not gone, you can still get it. And a lot of people have moved certain things, um, but not br breaking them. So that's why the cycle um, is continuing because you've moved certain thoughts, you've moved certain ideas, you've moved certain negative things, but instead of moving them, you have to break them because when you break them, when you first of when you let God break them, um, you don't you don't have to worry about them. When it's broken, it's never coming back. But when it's moved, there's always a chance that when you're weak, you'll put it up again. So when you're, for example, if you're an alcoholic and you have a drink in the back of the cupboard or a or your favorite whiskey or alcohol in the back of the cupboard and you could say I am not an alcoholic anymore but when you get weak when you get lonely when you get out on your own and you're feeling desperate and you're feeling confused and you're feeling weak, you will reach for, the, for that alcohol. You will reach for that negative thought. You will reach 
for that credit card. And the Lord says, he doesn't want you to reach for those things anymore. He doesn't want you to reach for the mental constructs or for the boxes that you put them in. He, him in. He wants you to break them. Because, beloved, when you break them, he has room to, to move something new into your life. And he desperately wants something new into your life. And I'm going to pray for you right now that you have the strength to break the box that you put him in, that you put your life in, that you put your job in, that you put your circumstances and then he wants you to he wants you to be free from those mental constructs so he can do what he wants to do because a lot of us haven't really given god control we've said we've given god control but we've only given him half control he wants it all he wants the things that you you haven't said to anyone else he wants the things that you are you are holding on to. He wants your mental boxes. He wants those things that need to be renewed in your life. He wants those things that need to be transformed to his will. He wants you to, to break out of what you think was normal so he can give you his new normal, but in order for him to give you his new normal, you need to allow those mental constructs, those mental boxes to be broken, to be shattered into little pieces so you could not restore them again. Because if you, if you move those ideas to the back of your mind, when you're feeling weak, when you're feeling frustrated, when you're feeling like you don't, you can't go any further, they'll come up again and they'll comfort you. Because the thing about uh, these mental boxes is they're comforting. They're comfortable. That's what, why we have them. Because, because they're comfortable and we we feel comforted when we when we think of them but the lord doesn't want you to feel comforted he wants you to confront them and if they're not his will for your life beloved he wants you to throw them out you are so much better than these boxes that you put your life in you can say oh my career will always be this because this is what my mom did or um, my, I will always be like that because I have a disability and I can't go anywhere. This is, this is what my life will always be. But the Lord is calling you higher. The Lord is calling me higher to receive his normal, his normal. And he's, and he's in this time, I sincerely believe that he is creating room for glory that you wouldn't, that you wouldn't know how to deal with. And, but he'll help you. Beloved, I know this is scary, but this is no time to fear. This is a time to realize that this normal, you don't have to do it alone. He'll do it. He just needs your yes. He just needs your I will do what you said, Lord. I will believe what you said, Lord. And it's not just, I will go to Africa. I will do anything. It's, it, it most often is a mindset. Um, if you say, yes, Lord, I will change that mindset. Yes, Lord, I will stop hanging around with those people. All he needs is your yes, and he'll take it from there. Beloved, you're not alone in this. You're not alone in this. He's with you. And all he needs is your yes, Lord. I want to receive your new normal. 
help me. That's all he needs. That's all he's asking for. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I hope we will, I pray that we will receive your new normal. Help us receive your blessing. Free us, Lord, from what's holding us back. Free us, Lord, from the mental boxes that are holding us back. Help us break them into to receive what you have in store, because what you have in store is much better than we could ever dream. Lord, I thank you and I praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So guys, I will really see you, if not tomorrow, sometime this week. Take care. Bye. Enjoy your, enjoy looking forward to this new normal that God has for us. It's going to be so exciting. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I can sense a weight of glory that we haven't seen God is preparing the world for something amazing, for something amazing. There's always been this, like, there's been this doom and gloom theology, but I think it was Corona, in a way, has been God's way of of um, just showing us his priorities showing us that it's all about him and I'm just so excited about what he's doing and what he's about to do to us. Lord Jesus, thank you. Show yourself strong. Show yourself strong in the mental community, Lord. Show yourself strong in all of our communities, Lord God. Show yourself strong in the medical community, Lord God. Teach us your ways. Give the medical researchers, Lord, understanding. This is a novel virus that they know very little about, Lord God. Teach them how to break the box in their study. Because in the breaking of their mental boxes, in the breaking of what they know, I believe in the breaking of their mental boxes, they will find the answer to this insidious deep demon called COVID-19. Lord God, until then, keep us strong, keep us safe, strengthen our will to go on, oh God. We can't give up, we won't give up. You have called us to be strong And even when we're weak, you will make us strong. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. So guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Not, if not tomorrow, sometime this week. Bye.